car. Oh, nice. All right, we're live. We're freaking live, bitch. It's well, a premium episode, right? Premium. Welcome yeah. to Premium Come Town. I don't have to think about anything. No, no ads. Nothing to think about. No thoughts. No <laughs> thoughts. <laughs> Just putting 60 minutes on the t- on the stopwatch. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, it's and that as it's soon as it hits zero. 60 minutes, 01. <laughs> mm-hmm. Clock it out. out. We no, are not understanding the difference between seconds and minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Check it. Getting ready to clock out nah, here. Come on. Isn't it 60 seconds on a time? That's what sixty minutes. That would that's what we would do. Yeah, I, I said that we'd stop at sixty minutes and one second. Oh yeah, yeah, nice. Yeah, you guys ever watch the show Sixty Minutes? Let's start there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Morally safer. Uh, what a name! How about a show called Sixty Seconds? Right, and it's fucking was it was his name Mike Wallace? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. And he's like. But some people say that Muslims are good, but other people say that they're bad. This has been 60 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> I like that, man. It's a 45-second commercial. Yep. In and out. You get that, that old motherfucker. Yeah. Who's dead. Who? Andy Rooney. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm with gay. the eyebrows. I'm gay. And my I'm eyebrows gay. are big. I, I don't like being gay. I <laughs> wish I was straight. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gay and I'm the a thing grouch. The about being gay is that everyone makes fun of you. Struggling. <laughs> it's not my fault that I'm gay. <laughs> I just was born this way. <laughs> Struggling with his sexuality, Andy Rooney, dude. Yeah, yeah. Often, I felt like a girl. I've asked people to introduce me as her, but they refuse to do it. Why can't I use the bathroom that I want to use? I'm not showing my penis to a child, and if I did, it would just be to be instructive. Mm-hmm. I'm not trying to fuck them. <laughs> I want to have sex with other people of gender confusion. <laughs> Is that how it works? I don't know. I don't fucking know anything. I think I'm uh, I'm I'm fine at using the the bathroom that you identify, but I'm against uh, gender neutral bathrooms. And that's only because the other night I took a real nasty one, and there was a super hot girl no, waiting right by. Fuck me. them! That's what, do what you they mean? get. It's not. It was embarrassing. Good. I, I felt well. No, it was like, you should feel powerful. I I don't know if that's how I would feel. You should feel. Powerful. I felt bad. Yeah, you, I like to go into the bathroom and I put on fucking. I take shit with me, even when I don't have to shit. You you take poop with you? I leave it in. Uh, yeah, bring, bring you leave my, a float. I bring my <laughs> yeah. Beats pill into the bathroom. <laughs> I put right. on Goodbye Horses and then I fucking <laughs> tuck my penis through my legs. <laughs> and I dance in the bathroom mirror. That's right. I come in <laughs> and I go, "Would you fuck me? <laughs> I'd fuck me." <laughs> and they're like, "We just listen. We want to give we you ple- an award." Yep. <laughs> for <laughs> bravery. Yeah. A purple heart for valor. That's we. <laughs> Mm. Oh, you can't be trans in the military, right? Trump said that's not allowed anymore. Yeah, who knows? Who gives a shit? Fuck the military. <laughs> that's true. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's good for trans people. That's what I say. Damn, that's right. If there's a war, we should say we're trans. Yeah, hundred percent. Or everyone should. Just I'm putting. Trans. I'm putting she, she, her in my bio the second the draft drops. You honestly would be fine, dude. You shave that mustache. Yeah, you're you also comb your like hair to the side old to be drafted. No, I thought the draft in World War II went up to like 40, didn't it? Uh, I think it goes up to like 38. Well, then I'm not too old. You're too old. <laughs> <laughs> I'm no, too I think fat. At, like military age is like you can enlist until you're 38 now or something. Mm-hmm. But I don't think they draft you past like fucking 29 or something. But also you have to be a physical specimen. No, you don't. To be drafted? In a draft? <laughs> <laughs> I watched some Peter Jackson It's like the NFL draft. About World War One, mm-hmm. where they took all this like World War One footage and then colorized it and then like... Oh, yeah, yeah. Smoothed it out or whatever. Was it good? I heard it was good. It's good, yeah. yeah. I saw a clip. It looks... The clip Dude, of the it trailer looks cool. looked beautiful. World War I is so goddamn funny. There's yeah. all these like British people, they're like, I guess we're having a war. They're like, what's that? They're like, I don't know, but everybody's signing up. Like, no one knew what it was. <laughs> they were like, yeah, I, th- I thought German people were fine. I didn't know what was happening or why we were yeah, going to yeah. war with Germany. But everyone was signing up, so I did. And then, like, you know, they get there, and it's like, yeah, uh, one of my mates, is uh, half his head exploded when a <laughs> shell went off near him. And, we, like, they would do, like, you know, they're like, if you didn't have your gas mask, what you would do is you would soak your shirt and piss and shove it in your mouth. 
And uh, oh, like no. the, the solution for everything was piss. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, you you know, your boots should be too tight, so you'd have to loosen them up with uh, piss. We would piss in the boots and let them soak for a couple of days. Dude, oh, yeah. the, one of the funniest Wikipedia pages is the Polish military in World War One. Like, Poland was so behind technologically. I guess it's why people are mean to Polish people, because they're World like... World War One. Because they're like the rednecks of Europe or something. But yeah, they just... They had... They tried swords and stuff. That but like, rules. Yeah, they were just like just they got mowed down by machine to, guns. Trying to fucking <laughs> like pretend a sword is like a lightsaber. Yeah, yeah. They were <laughs> trying to like bing, yeah, bing, bing them away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they sucked. <laughs> Dude, World War Two sounds so fucking. Well, World War World War One, one. or one, one. Yeah, yeah just the trenches. Being, they're yeah. all just being just digging tunnels. And shit. And like and your entire company gets gassed, and then you're all blind. Damn. For the rest of your life. That You're sucks. just you and all your your mates and blokes are fucking blind. <laughs> yeah. You never get to see a red splotchy titty again yeah. for the rest of your life. You dude. know, I thought it was quite fun. I wanted to get my go at Jerry, so he signed up, and then uh, <laughs> yeah, just fucking. So they were gassing, and they were gassing, just mustard gas, mustard gas being shelled because like you didn't really you didn't get shot. I mean, they were like snipers and stuff, but you die from like indirect fire. Oh. So it'd be nothing but like just being shelled all fucking day long, which like you know even if it's not hitting you, like you just have you're you're going deaf. Yeah, you're being your skull is being fucking vibrated constantly. Jesus Christ. There's no way out. Any way you turn, there's just fucking explosions. God damn. So like they're all just deeply PTSD. Yeah, you know they don't have a name for shell it. shell shock, baby. Yeah. Um, damn, you know they beat the hell out of their kids. Yeah, the guys, they, there was one guy explaining, like, running across, like, the field, I guess, when they're... No man's land? Yeah, when they're, f- like, trying to get over to the other trench or whatever, move the front forward. And he's like, you, he's like, you know, and, you know, in that moment, you know you're just going to get the chop. It's not, it's <laughs> just a matter of when, you know, it's left and right. It's, this guy's, uh, you know, his leg came off and then, you know. Jesus <laughs> Christ. Fucking, yeah, just like... Half his face was sheared off, and his uh, he's like probably the most he goes, the ama- most amazing display of anatomy I've ever because somebody's just like opened up, and he's like you know he had to shoot a, shoot a guy in the head because his eyeball was like hanging out oh. and fucking you know his innards were all exposed. Jesus Christ! And and then the guy's like explaining like dissociating or whatever while running across the field, and he's like you can taste the roof of your mouth and like you know you like smell the inside of your nose. He's like you just fucking like. You're just gone. God damn. Yeah. Like a like an art bitch with like a septum looking out the window. It was because of machine <laughs> guns, right? What? Like the reason they got stuck in the trenches was like before that wars hadn't really been fought with machine guns and like all artillery or whatever. Yeah, artillery. Yeah. Yeah, they invented Before then like it would just be muskets. Before they'd like line up on a battlefield yeah, and yeah, then yeah. run yeah. at each other. <laughs> but then machine guns were invented. That's so fucking cool. You dude. couldn't do that. You anymore. would put on a fucking your finest gayest uniform. Yeah, red yeah. shit. <laughs> if you had if you had it. I mean prior yeah. to that, I mean you always had to like buy your own shit. So there would be people just showing up like naked. <laughs> <laughs> Just the guy in sweats <laughs> yeah. with, a fucking, with a shitty fucking gun his dad made. Yeah, <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah how getting like, clowned for being poor at war. Well, even in World War One, <laughs> uh, like you know, they didn't have regular uniforms. I mean, they had like uniforms, but it's like you just picked like if your shit didn't fit, you'd be fucked. Damn. And you only issued one uniform. Damn. And you have to like stay in that, and it's designed poorly, so your shoes get wet, and then your foot you get like gangrene. Trench yeah, foot. Yeah, to cut w- your legs off. Weren't they just sleeping in like little tunnels and shit? You just sleep in the trenches. God. So you get damn. rained on, and then pictures of like battlefields from World War One are hilarious because it's like it was like a French town, but then it just looks like hell. Yeah. Because <laughs> it's like everything's been like blown the fuck up. It's just all mud and like broken tree trunks, and like the remnants of a church. Damn, dude. <laughs> yeah. And and the reason it all started is because someone killed some fucking random guy. The the great grandfather yeah, of the guy like who's the Balkans. It was like a Serbian issue. Yeah. And Crazy. then that, yeah, spilled. All the leaders of Europe were like cousins. And then they were so like, like, You fuck with my dumbass Albanian cousin, dude. I'm about to fuck you yeah, up. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> Um, it is fucking funny that they were just all cut. It's just like family squabbles. Like Greece had a mm-hmm. king, and it was just some German guy. Yeah, they'd they just, like marry people off. They're just like, yeah, politics. you guys. Now that 
now that the world war, now that World War Two's over, you guys get a king. We're just gonna put a German guy in here, mm-hmm. and he's just gonna r- rule you. But then we told him to suck our fucking hard cocks. Hell yeah! Yeah, thank God the world's not run by a small cabal of a handful <laughs> of people anymore. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. Thank God it's not like that. Thank anymore. God it's not uh, descendants of the banking family that was in power at the time. <laughs> all of that was happening. <laughs> Literally the same exact family. <laughs> it w- yeah. What uh, what is up with the Rothschilds? Is that just an anti-Semitic thing, or no, are those it's guys real. real? It's real. I don't know. Adam, you want to weigh in? I've never met them. So. I just know that J Electronica. I don't talk about people that I've never met. You know? J Electronica like fucked like. As a child with like some with a Rothschild, so it's like yeah, he's never making music again. Yeah, what well, does he, he care? He was about to drop that album. That yeah, everyone and then he the, nutted the inside of wanted. one of the six Jewish banking yeah. families' great granddaughter, and it's like yeah, this man's just gonna be on a fucking good for yacht, him. dude. I know. If you're a Rothschild and you're listening to this, and you want some of this fine, fine Greek nut mm-hmm. blasted inside of your rich Jewish pussy. Yeah, I've never me. I've never seen them at the meeting, so they're past it. They're not even they don't, they don't even really go to count. The, they don't go to the meetings. They're they're post Jewish. Yeah. Now. They're they're so rich they don't even have to be Jewish. Is that that's kinda like that's like going super sane if you're Jewish. Yeah. Money is like going up in power levels. That's the goal. And you wanna you wanna go super sane and become a Rothschild. Mm-hmm. Jeff Epp was on that level, you know. He was getting there. He was getting there. But then they had a the haters had to take the him down. <laughs> R.I.P. Jeff, taken down by the haters, dude. Dude, I can't stand the haters. <laughs> <laughs> and he honestly, all he did, he, yeah. Where did he come from? Was he? he it's like, like, I don't know. Maybe Nick knows, but I think it's pretty. It's pretty hazy. I know yeah. he's from New York, but he's not like from some famous family or anything. No, his brother was also like a financier. Yeah, that has money or whatever. Let's talk to him, dude. Can we get him on the podcast? Frank Epstein? Mark Epstein? Billy Epstein? Billy, <laughs> <laughs> Billy Ray Epstein? <laughs> yeah. Don't fuck my kid. My itty bitty kid. Yeah, my brother does some weird stuff. <laughs> I, don't, I, I, don't, I don't really know about him. We kind of lost touch. Yeah. Don't suck my dick. My fucking little dick. Please fuck um, my ass. My achy faggot ass. <laughs> <laughs> Please fuck my motherfucking Please. house yeah. I'm fucking gay My dick is fucking small I wanna get sucked off by a guy Fuck yeah. it uh, So yes, anyway sir. Yeah yes, dude I would not want to be in World War Pick a war that you'd want to be in Not World War 2 dude I'll tell you that much Or World War 1 <laughs> I guess I would like to be I guess I would like to throw on my fucking... I want to be like a drummer boy <laughs> in the British Army when they were just mowing down everybody. Oh, I'd want to be a USO uh, performer. <laughs> <laughs> you want to be one of the hot girls that came with yeah. fucking uh, Jerry Lewis to... Yeah, I'd want to be... Bob Hope. Singing. One of the girls Bob Hope was molesting. I would want to be in drag. Was Bob Hope Grandpa molesting? Simpson's I'm just style. guessing, dude. Mm, yeah. What? He probably, yeah. On those USO tours, man. Well, that's what people were saying when the Franken stuff came out. They're like, that's just USO culture. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I got molested in um, when I was in Korea, dude. By, when? By Bent. <laughs> by Bent. By Bent Washburn. <laughs> Stop, I want to tell you why I brought you here. <laughs> He's got olive oil and a spritzer. <laughs> He just starts misting you. <laughs> like, what's going on? He's like, I'll explain <laughs> in a second. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that would be... I, I would not like to get molested as a grown man. I was 25. By by a former Mormon clean comedian? Yeah. yeah. It was very funny. It was very funny. Shouts out to Bent. Sorry, man. I didn't mean to claim that you molested me. What's the cutoff for molestation? If I'm 25, um, is that being molested? Inside. Oh. <laughs> complete penis completely inside. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Nothing else counts. The cutoff yeah. is busting. Mm. Yeah, as long as you don't bust. As long as you don't bust. It's is that le- is that in the legal? No. Is that in the book? The law books? Ain't no penetration. Ain't illegal. Ain't no penetration. Ain't illegal, dog. 
the classic. <laughs> classic bit. The classic riff. <laughs> One of the classic just <laughs> Tell the judge. Yeah, judge. I'm gonna set it off. I'm no, tell the judge any case I'm gonna be the dog. <laughs> That's right. Any case tell him any be penetration the ain't ain't no penetration ain't no <laughs> legal dog. Move the diaper to the side. <laughs> yeah. Come on, baby. Take, <laughs> take that diaper. Pa- yeah, off. Panties to the side. Push the diaper to the side. She already know. <laughs> we gonna turn her ass out. <laughs> <laughs> ain't penetration. In the garden <laughs> hole. Dog. God ho, she a slut. She working it. <laughs> <laughs> she, she working the sandbox. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for playing that. Yeah, um, you're going. You are to going jail. to jail. Going First to of jail. all, it is illegal. Do you remember? Did you see that video? That dude that was trying to get off or get a lighter <laughs> sentence by singing to the judge. <laughs> He's like, and I tell you, I'm sorry <laughs> for what I've done. You know. The judge is like, okay, Life. thank you, 10 years. <laughs> <laughs> that fucking rules, yeah. dude. <laughs> and I am sorry for what I've done. <laughs> and you will forgive me. <laughs> like, no, no. I got the gift of song. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is my power. Yeah. That's so funny. My favorite guy that was in jail is the guy that told the prosecutor that she's thicker than a bowl of oatmeal. And then yeah. he does the does the finger guns at her. <laughs> <laughs> that guy fucking rules. Yeah. I got no respect Check for that out, guys. If you're out there on the internet, look mm-hmm. that guy up. There was some fat lady complaining about something on Twitter the other day. And some guy like responded to her. He's like, damn, you're looking... Sexy as hell, really like ironically, like saying she looks good, <laughs> like posting pictures from her LinkedIn. <laughs> and she's like, and cue the sexual harassment. You know, it's like, yeah, that's not what that is. <laughs> Sorry, you should have selected fat shaming. Sorry, you should have realized that that was insincere. <laughs> Ah, uh, fuck. That's did you guys watch the, the debate? I did, yeah. You did? Cool. I watched m- the most of it. We did it slap? Time. Was it dead ass? It dead ass. <laughs> <laughs> I thought Bernie dead assed a little bit. <laughs> I don't care anymore. I thought, honestly, I was happy that he looked healthy. I don't healthy. fucking care about anything. My dick is hard for Bernard. I'm I've pissed ca- off. Really? Yeah, dude. Yeah. You were working on the car all day? No, I mean, it's like, I. It, it's, I don't know. I just... I don't have any faith that anything's gonna be. Oh no! Yeah. Oh no! They're gonna screw. Him. When Bernie loses, it's gonna be. Well, you saw tough. today that like that that thing you said about like um about like how are we such cowards, uh, when it comes to like the insurance industry. Uh-huh. Three different news outlets said attributed it to Elizabeth Warren. Really? What? Including NBC. Yeah. I mean, he's being sabotaged. It's crazy. Shout he's out being to actively sabotaged. Shouts out to AOC though. Yeah. Milan, the whole yeah. squad. And uh, Mashada to to Lubadad <laughs> and the other one, uh, Alanovic uh, Umarion. <laughs> Omarion. Omarion. I'm a huge fan. From Omarion, B2K. Yep. Yeah. Omarion came out big for Bernie. Yeah. Um, so did Cisco. Cisco, all of Drew Hill. I've kind of turned the corner. <laughs> I've kind of turned the corner on Biden now, and I really like him, kind of, because he's losing. Because he's so retarded. You yeah, know? it's fun. He's just yeah, his brain is leaking out of his yeah. ears. I need because the fails. He's the atom of the debates. <laughs> I need more fails. <laughs> I need the he fails. Th- he does have some epic fails. <laughs> so many good he fails. Dude, yeah. He was just Elizabeth <laughs> Warren's like, uh, uh, it's a comprehensive health care plan. Uh, Medicare for all, and there will be different. We're not gonna look. I'm not gonna pass anything that uh, uh, tells people that their costs are gonna go up. I'm just not gonna do it. And then Biden's like, w- "What if there was like a, a comprehensive health care plan, like Medicare for all, but like you don't tell people that their costs are gonna go up? You just." <laughs> and Elizabeth Warren's like, "I literally just. Said I just that. said that. Joe. You were sitting there listening to me say it." <laughs> <laughs> You're just repeating and what you Joe's heard. Like, I'm, I was thinking about. I was sorry. You guys remember Barack well, Obama? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what was his deal? Isn't it crazy that there was a president named Barack <laughs> Obama? That is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you don't think we all would have thought the first one would have been named like Stan or something? Yeah. <laughs> but how we, crazy is that? That his name was Barack <laughs> Obama. 
They're like, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Vice President. I liked when he Mr. said... Joe Friedland. I, I liked when he said <laughs> <Joe> that... Uh, <laughs> when he said that poor kids are just as smart and talented as white kids. That was that awesome. Rock. Yeah. <laughs> well, he said some... Sh- Dude, literally every debate, that he's His just His dentures rambling. keep falling out. He doesn't know where the end of the sentence is going to go. Yeah. He rocks. I know. I need yeah, to fail. Well, the reason it's endearing is because everybody wishes they were that gone from reality. At this oh, point. yeah. That's true. I'm jealous. I, I, are Trump people happy? I don't even feel like you can even be happy if you're like a fucking Trump guy. Did you get anything you fucking wanted out of him? I mean, if you're rich, I guess. Yeah, but that's not who I'm talking about. It's not yeah. fucking, yeah, it's not rich people that are all like gung-ho about fucking Trump. I mean, people that like Trump for like the cul- for cultural reasons. They didn't get shit. They think that he's like this guy that's going to upset things. Or No, but I think they still just, I don't know, don't you like the narrative of your guys technically, you're technically in charge? No. You don't think so? No. I mean, it's like the inverse of like the black people that thought they were going to have white slaves when Obama <laughs> became president. And then they're like deep into the second term and they're like, OK, but I was supposed to have a Todd. Where's Todd at? Todd's supposed to be lining up my sneakers. Todd's supposed to be polishing my fucking my forces. And it ain't happening. <laughs> I don't think I don't know. Todd's supposed to be out there in that field getting me some pussy. Todd's <laughs> <laughs> supposed to be a co- white guy harvesting lining up pussy dates. for me. Yeah, <laughs> just picking pussy up off the street, picking pussy all day. That's his Hi, job. Hi, I'm sorry to bother you. Would you mm-hmm. like to come back to my friend, to my master Dontrell's house? Yeah, just a bunch of white slaves in a field singing Creed <laughs> <laughs> to pass the time. <laughs> well, I just heard the news today. <laughs> <laughs> Seems my life is gonna change <laughs> with arms wide open. <laughs> hey, all right. <laughs> you know how you doing? How you doing, baby girl? How you doing, baby yeah, girl? Yeah, just yeah. hollering for their guy. For yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. Look, and I'm just a, a pussy picking slave out here, <laughs> trying to make my way in the world. And I was wondering if I could bring you back to my slave master for him to have sex with you. Otherwise, he's gonna pin me in a sandbox that I have to sleep in. In the middle of the summer. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, the Obama. Yeah. We're, I mean, I feel like if it would have been nice if there had been white slavery for just four years. So because it, white people could complain about it? Yeah, well, I feel like that would solve a lot of problems. We're like, if we got our bad, we, but yeah. if, well, here's four years. Get it out of your system. Get it out of your system. Now yeah. we're even. <laughs> No more. Yeah. <laughs> now we're even. Mm. It's yes. It's kind of like a, a cheating pass. Yeah. A hall pass. Right. Yeah. For racism the other way. Yeah. You guys get to be presidents of banks. Because I don't think reparations would do it. I think it would take a, some, maybe slavery. a solid decade mm-hmm. of white slavery. They okay. could use cracker in the right context, like in a, like a power like imbalance kind of sense. Yeah. You know, it could actually mean something. Yeah. That's true. There's yeah. a lot of. Um, I think reparations would help. I think reparations plus six months of white slavery. Because mm-hmm. it would be about the pageantry. Mm-hmm. It would be a nice, it's a nice <laughs> image to see a the bunch game. of white people, yeah. you know, sleeping outside. Or right. Whatever. And then it'd be white people with black last names. <laughs> Your girl named like Mackenzie Ha Ha Dequarius. <laughs> 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 And she's like, actually, it's Mackenzie X now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they'd, they'd adopt the yeah. religion. Ha Ha Aquarius is my slave name. <laughs> <laughs> Mackenzie X. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, could you imagine how entitled white women would be that survived white slavery? Oh, my God. It would be brutal. Just the fucking <laughs> The worst. worst. <laughs> the absolute worst. There was some tweet. I saw a tweet. Uh, some lady was like... Oh, bro- look at her stand a white woman like that picture of Nancy Pelosi standing up to a room full of white men. It's like mm-hmm. Nancy Pelosi is a white millionaire. Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> She's not white. Any? <laughs> it's a room of white men. What the fuck is Pelosi exactly? You yeah. dumb bitch. She's a white man. Yeah. She's a. First sec- of all, any postmenopausal woman is a man. <laughs> yeah. 
You ain't bleeding. You ain't fucking reading my lips. <laughs> That's when I say, so true, dude. <laughs> F U C K to you. So they're not reading that. Yeah. That's my campaign. <laughs> on, the, <laughs> on the debate stage. Any closing thoughts? If you ain't bleeding, you ain't. Be- don't stop believing. By journey, we're taking a journey. The journey is all the way to the bank, Mister. And mm-hmm. you can write that on a twenty dollar bill. You can say you can put that on a twenty dollar bill and mail it to the mail it to Santa. That's right. Because thank you. Okay, thirty more seconds. <laughs> Because Santa, listen, I, I knew a guy. Uh, used to he would write letters to Santa Claus, <laughs> and the letters would always come back undeliverable. <laughs> what does Joe Biden sound like? That's kind of no, close. The, the teeth. He, he's got yeah. He's a teeth are because his teeth are fake. But he he uh, what? It's some, I don't know. I'd have to listen. Is to any more. does anyone actually think Joe Biden is like should be president? I think people that yeah, are like my dad. Yeah, yeah. They're Damn. like they know. Oh, I know that guy. Yeah, from Obama. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my dad's like I would I would absolutely vote for him for Blevin. I want him to be the president of the <laughs> of the. It's Tuesday, Ruby Tuesdays. We're here Ruby Tuesdays and we're voting for president. Like very good. <laughs> That's right. Very yeah, just good, senior. Did you see him at the LGBT town hall? Oh my God! We was like, he mm. was like, you know, you got L, <laughs> you got G, you got. Listen, there's B's out there. <laughs> who, uh, uh, I got a friend. He used to drive a '57 Bel Air, and he'd come by and we'd say, "There goes." There goes LB Steve, and that stands for <laughs> Lucky Balls, because he had the biggest pair of balls you've ever seen, and he he cut a hole in the back of his pants, and, <laughs> and what he would do is he'd sit on the bleachers and let his balls hang out of his pants. <laughs> in summary, yeah, I support yeah, gay marriage. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Listen, we got firefighters who want to go work on Wall Street, but then they got to think about somebody who's who's uh, torturing a cat in a cardboard box, and they're calling it a sideshow. They've got a, it's on the side of the road. There's a cat set on fire, and that's how that's what you that's how you used to get married. Now they're saying two two fellas can't get married, but I remember when it was you wanted to get married to somebody, you put a gun to their head, and you said either it's you or your your papa. One of you is going to get it. (laughs) (laughs) Joe Biden. No, but he literally he was say, like, you know, you think about San Francisco and the bathhouses and you know, it used sex to be all about bathhouses. All day sex, twenty four hours sex. a day, anonymous sex. Like, what? Are I you remember talking about? if you wore leather, you were either in a gang that beat people up with chains, or you were a homosexual. <laughs> now everybody's wearing leather. Kids, old people, and that's what we want. Muslims coming here wearing leather, and that's what me and Barack we work together to make. Leather jackets. <laughs> we started a leather jacket company, and it was called Dean's Cool Jackets. <laughs> At the time, I was telling people my name was Dean. <laughs> I was going by Dean for a while, and the reasoning for that was is because, you know, I was one of the first people to protest the laws saying that two guys can't get married, and instead of voting to change the laws, I said, we're going to start... W- grassroots effort. I'm changing my name to Dean, <laughs> and I'm Vegan gonna jackets. go around, and then I'll I'll say, "What's up? It's me, Gay Dean." <laughs> I needed to keep my name for when I decided to be straight. When I wanted to be straight again, because you had to file as gay <laughs> <laughs> with the corporations board. That's it. look. Me and my son did nothing wrong. <laughs> my son did nothing wrong in the bathroom. <laughs> Everything my son discussed with me about that four-year-old, I have no idea what he said. <laughs> oh fuck, dude! Just, just go, just chill, Joe. Yeah, he must be a millionaire too, right? Aren't they all? They're all millionaires. I think he was kind of broke for a long time, really, like for Congress. Yeah, but just Delaware, dude. But he kind of like I think through some shady shit, like got a mansion. Once you're vice president, I mean, yeah, come yeah. On. No, I think like his house in Delaware like is worth a lot of money, and then Pro- do you, you think through, he, he got on, it through some you sort think of he lives like on Rehoboth Beach. Definitely, dude. <laughs> just He's just wearing there. wearing turquoise and silver <laughs> jewelry. <laughs> yeah, on Rehoboth, no shirt, Biden leathery Biden brown bronze skin. On Rehoboth Beach, dude, that's sick. Rehold my beer. That's what we would say. 
I mean, somebody would do something, and I would say, well, hold my beer, and then I would go out on the beach. One time I got fucked in my ass by a manta ray. They're not even supposed to be there in the beach. And that's what we're saying about climate change is a problem. <laughs> that's you how we know these, uh, tropical animals showing up yeah. on Rehoboth Beach you got fucking a guy, men in the ass you got two cans cutting coupons on Wall Street <laughs> they're not supposed to be there it's because it's too hot in Africa where they live <laughs> uh, okay <laughs> Joe Biden rocks dude you're like alright Joe we're gonna have to walk that one back you're barely off yeah no that's literally <laughs> what it is <laughs> Like it's barely an exaggeration. <laughs> he just rambles, dude. Yeah. It's incredible. No, he's more decayed than Trump. I'm trying to be by in that far. Zone. I'm trying to get right in that zone. Men- dementia? Yeah. Maybe you can accelerate it with like a huffing problem. Get into a gasoline or something. Mm-hmm. Just blow nah, some brain want, cells. Nah, that don't that's too it's that's kind of like trying to finish your meal by turning the oven, the heat on higher. You want a nice slow roasted dementia. Yeah, brain, you gotta dude. wait that shit out. Yeah, I'm definitely getting it. It's in my DNA. <coughs> Is it? Oh yeah. Your PNA. My PNA. Your genes are made out of piss. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. piss World out. War One style. Yeah. Yeah, right. We would uh, piss in our genes, <laughs> and then you w- we, that's what we say. We called ourselves the Piss Genes Boys. <laughs> oh yes. And we t- we took it to Jerry, and we were covered in piss at the time. <laughs> That's, you know, you just wanted to have a nice go with your mates. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, that's that's crazy. And then they got back and like there was signs that were like, no veterans supplying, please. Like, <laughs> like, for World they War got I, disrespected. Dude. Not Vietnam. Yeah. The fucking World War I. Yeah, the, the first Great War. war. The Britain was under attack by Germany. And they got back to England, and they were like, yeah, we're not hiring any, uh, no veterans. You guys are too annoying. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, if there was a draft, Stav would, uh, would fuck up the bottom of your foot again with in basic training, 60 seconds in, just fuck everyone's wife. That would be awesome, dude. Oh, yeah, you know I would be going. 100%. Oh, yeah. Ear necklace. <laughs> yeah, would, be, Nick would go, go full, native. Nick would go full Colonel Kurtz. Yeah. yeah, I would love that. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'd probably get killed immediately. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you just break I'm formation. Just, yeah. ah! Thirty years old, no fucking, no conditioning whatsoever. <laughs> no training, no conditioning. Yeah. No, I think you're just s- getting pissed in boot camp. Do a Fort Hood, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. punching your yeah, you drill would sergeant. Die in Fort Hood. <laughs> yeah, there would invariably be like somebody that listens to the podcast in basic training. They're 15 sure. years younger than me, for sure. Yeah. They're like, dude, Adam's gay. <laughs> Every day, like, yes, yes, man, Adam's gay. <laughs> yeah, thanks for listening. Hey, hey, dude, thanks, I appreciate it. But that's how you show you know, it. We got to go to war with Israel. So <laughs> if you could just maybe, if we could just focus on getting there and taking out as many of them as possible. Yeah, it's like if you're really mad at Adam, well then shoot him as he's mm-hmm. on their side. Yeah. Would you take a position in the Israeli army? A senior position, Adam. Um, yeah, I would. I mean, I'm basically it's yeah. a, it's a bidding war. If there's an Israel-U.S. <laughs> war, I'm gonna go with whichever side gives me. Adam would know, try to be the Robin perks. Williams in Good Morning Vietnam. That would be my job, the yeah. radio man. And everyone's like, it's just all these, just Adam in the studio being like, "Good morning, Tel Aviv." <laughs> I don't know. What do you guys want to talk about? <laughs> and then, you know, doing the radio thing, and then it's like you know, just. Like the same shots of everyone in the studio, like cracking up and laughing, and then it, it cuts to people actually in Israel, and they're like, "This guy sucks." <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no one likes. We the want show. to send him back. Yeah, no, no, thanks, they're all laughing. No thanks. They're all laughing, but then it cuts back to Adam, and what he's doing is showing everyone his penis. Mm-hmm. Oh, and that's why everyone's laughing. Well, so anything for comedy. Yeah, mm-hmm. anything for a laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Adam has the number one hit show in Israel. <laughs> it's 30 minutes of his penis, <laughs> and yeah. everyone can't stop laughing. <laughs> 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 they do it in every single week, <laughs> and it's just him pulling his cock out. <laughs> Damn, I kind of want to wa- rewatch Good Morning Vietnam now. I've never seen it. What, Damn, what if we just just kept doing this, but for the army, you That'd know, be awesome, in a dude. war? We'd do to our support p- for the Uncle troops, Sam? you know, we'd do our parody songs. Mm-hmm. You know, I always wanted to do like a comic where it's some guy like, you know, he's like playing a flute or something mm-hmm. and everyone's like, faggot, <laughs> <laughs> like making fun of him. 
<laughs> and then there's like a sign that says like you know like war you know or whatever in the newspaper and then it's like the war or whatever and like all those guys are being blown up and their dicks are being blown off and the flute guy just gets to be in like the band <laughs> playing the general's birthday <laughs> and he's like who's the faggot now <laughs> yeah and while laughing, and everyone in the band's laughing at the other troops dying. <laughs> People in army band must really love it when war happens. Oh, yeah. Because you go from, you know, basically a fake job to having the best job in the army. That's true. Can you well, imagine no. being so bad at clarinet that they make you go die? <laughs> They're like, listen, you fucked up too much. You're gonna have to. You're gonna have to get out on the front lines <coughs> for a while because you you suck dick at clarinet. Damn, those guys never have to. Sh- they have to sh- learn how to shoot guns and shit, though. Yeah, right? in training. I went to the go. army for jazz. <laughs> <laughs> played fucking saxophone for the army. Can you do that? You can play saxophone for the marines. One of my friends' yeah. dads <laughs> literally is in the navy. He's in the band. Yeah. But I get. I They're probably ask. a dope yeah. band, though. He would go to Germany. He just yeah, was stationed you know, in growing up, I, always, I like Bob Dylan and stuff like that. But I always thought that like anti-government stuff was kind of gay. <laughs> <laughs> I like the music. I like the idea of being a free spirit. But re- but really, what I enjoyed is is taking orders and being bossed around <laughs> and, and imperialism. The worst of both worlds. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, my friend's dad just fucking knocked up the second girl. He just raw dogged some. The second woman he had sex with in college, they got married, and then he just joined the band to, to like, leave them. He would just be like, oh, got to travel with the army. Oh, That's that was so like, cool. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty sad. I'm jealous. <laughs> and then they got divorced. And My old neighbor in D.C. Um, got a, knocked a woman up and became a clown in the circus. <laughs> <laughs> Jerome, yeah. That was the thing. Was like a soul circus? I, I hope it was the black circus. I don't yeah. think so. But yeah, no, he was like, yeah, so I, I was a clown for like three years. <laughs> Let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. And this is an important question. Yeah. If you're a white man that gets a job at the Universal Circus mm-hmm. and you dress up in clown makeup, Uh-oh. is that technically blackface because you're supposed to be a black clown? Mm-hmm. Even though the makeup is the same as regular clown, Interesting. You're portray- you are representing you're in the black circus. You're trying to be a black clown. I would say. As long as there is no underneath, can you see your white skin at all? Yeah, sure. You're, uh, I mean, black clowns look like white clowns. Yeah, they have the Depends red lips and the white, sh- you know, white face paint. Yeah. Hmm. I would, s- yes, I think it's blackface. The only thing, the only difference between a black clown and a white clown is that the black clowns don't need the wig. <laughs> <laughs> they just paint stripes on top of their afro. I think they still probably need the wig. No, Do uh, they? Cause the I'm gonna look up black clown right now. Black clown. That's like the version of Joker, the bootleg version of Joker released in Turkey. Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it's hom- homie. The, homie the clown is who. Oh, pops homie up. the clown must be one of the most famous. <laughs> one of the famous black clowns. And then there's a bunch of like goth goth clowns. Oh, like black, like dark. Yeah, which is really fucking gay. If that you sounds G A Y to me. <laughs> Imagine being like a clown and the goth. Mm-hmm. I that's see just, a lot of overlap. That's there, just actually. gay Y, as they said in elementary school. <laughs> <laughs> Remember that? <laughs> I no. Gay, well, it's gay wide, but also gay Y. No, that's Remember? people would say gay wide, and then that got oh, shortened. Oh, gay yeah. wad. Yeah. yeah, but that got shortened to gay Y. I never got. I never heard, heard that. that? No. It's rare, but that was like <laughs> a must thing. have been your school. Of course, gay wad, huge. Yeah, gay wad. It's like artard. <clears throat> artard, of course, I remember. I guess South Park popularized that, but it's like you don't hear it very often. But it's an alternative use, of course. Yeah, that's true. You getting a phone call, Adam? It's a telemarketer. From your bo- is it from your boyfriend? I thought it was my cousin, maybe because he's staying at mine right You're now. You're having sex with your cousin. No, he's sick in my apartment right now. Mm-hmm. So. From all that cock you gave him? I didn't give him any cock, dude. Shut up. He's <laughs> what if that's I my used family. That, Adam, that's I, my freaking family. Adam, I bro. used the Band-Aid you gave me, the used Band-Aid he for my talk paper cut. <laughs> he's from Los Angeles. And it, now I, I think I am sick with uh, <laughs> some kind of immunodeficiency <laughs> virus. Why couldn't you give me a new Band-Aid? You had to save money on Band-Aid. Well, it's a good Band-Aid. It still has a stickiness. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> you, and Adam's been finding band aids outside <laughs> on the to sidewalk save, to save money. But that on. one, to be clear, <laughs> is from you. <laughs> Although you have been finding them, the one you gave him, the gave him the immune. I gave him my AIDS, my AIDS band aid. That one is yours. Yeah, it was rude of me. I'm gonna have to talk to his mother. She's gonna be pissed. If at me. you okay, how sick is he? He's just, just kind of cold. He's got like a cold. Or if something. he, if you could cure him, but he had to lick your penis, would you do it? I think we kind of probably did that when we were kids. So yes, you would. We kissed, we kissed each other's uh, butts or whatever, <laughs> whatever little kids do, you know, normal. No, I never did that. No, I don't think we did that. But that was my cousin that I did a <coughs> penis party with. Oh, nice. Yeah, we invented that game. Salute. Well, we're, that's been going. That's and your runs in your family. We used to, yeah, interrupt our parents' <laughs> dinner parties and with with our dicks out <laughs> and say penis party, penis party. So answer the question. I thought it was a good bit, honestly. Answer the question. No. If it would cure his cold, would you let? Would he? Li- would you to let cure a cold? <laughs> no. <laughs> Stavros, no. <laughs> so my mom, my mom like worked with this lady, and like I would have to hang out with her son sometimes, and he mm-hmm. was he was like a dick. He was just yeah. fucking mean to everyone, bullied everyone, and but when it wasn't directed at you, it was the funniest shit in the world. Yeah. And I may have told this story already, but there was one time we were in his basement, and his like sister had this like. I guess it was like a fucking antique dollhouse that kind of like opens up, you know? Mm-hmm. And he had a crowbar, and I don't know yes. how he started. I remember the story. It's <laughs> he, awesome. he's like, He's like, oh, no, what's going on in this room? <laughs> 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 Smashing out all the did he go to jail? <laughs> uh, probably. Yeah. But, you know, I don't know. I mean, that was like, I didn't see that guy after I turned like fucking 10. But <laughs> yeah. the, the the mental image of that guy destroying. And I'm like, I can't inhale. I'm laughing too hard that my fucking larynx is seized. <laughs> yeah. Well, he destroys, you know, because you know what's like what's coming is an hour later. His sister going down there to play with the dolls. <laughs> oh, my God. That's so <laughs> mean. <a> scream. <laughs> but she realizes what he did <laughs> and, <laughs> and then, then she shows his or their mom and then you just hear her like screaming his name and he goes what <laughs> 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 what god <laughs> i was fu- i was playing with it she, i don't even know ask her she fucking probably she did, did it, it. <laughs> 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 oh fuck a classic Destruction of property. Yeah, great. just punching down as hard as you can. <laughs> <laughs> just fucking punching down like you're driving Excalibur into the stone. <laughs> <laughs> Fixing comedy. Mm-hmm. With that guy. Mm-hmm. Let's get him a fucking special, dude. Dude, I would watch that. I would watch a show that's just a bad kid that fucking just hurts people's feelings. Honestly, I would love to watch <laughs> just it. Yeah, just called bad kid. <laughs> yeah, just an eight year old with emotional problems. <laughs> yeah, it's like pulling You're the fire fucking along. Ugly. Just fucking like just uh, raising his hand in third grade and the teacher calling on him, being like, "I heard you got raped over the weekend." <laughs> Some I heard. I walked past the teacher's lounge and I heard that you were raped on your date. And the teacher's just like the tea, like glory, a single tear going down her face. That's not appropriate, Derek. Derek, go to the office, please. Derek, go to the office. Stop telling me I got raped, please. <laughs> <laughs> Derek, every weekend you tell me. Okay, I'm going to go to the office, but I'm going to be laughing about you being raped in there. <laughs> <laughs> just the just the shittiest kid. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> this is a show called <laughs> Shitty Kid. Shitty Kid is a great show. <laughs> oh, fuck. Did your husband break off the engagement because you're yeah. fat? Uh, your husband left you because you're fat. <laughs> <laughs> um, if we're cutting and pasting, are you going to cut uh, your wrists and eat pastries? <laughs> 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 because you're fat. <laughs> and your husband left you? <laughs> I'm just asking! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah that would be that would be a perfect show. It would be. And Did you ever no, s- no plot? Nothing happens. <laughs> it's a reality it's show. That we're one following. kid from from Summer Heights High. Jonah. Had none of the other characters. <laughs> yeah. His dad never comes back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, another good one would just be to have a, just a class of just killers, just like these horrible kids and a different substitute teacher every week. Yeah. That would be fun. Mm-hmm. God damn. Did dude. you guys ever see a teacher cry? Yeah. Yeah. All the t- I st- multiple times in school. One time, uh, my brothers went to a shittier middle school than I did. 
They weren't as, they weren't smart enough to get into the only good middle school in Baltimore. There was like you had to test out of the public schools. It was a magnet were, school. Yeah. yeah, there were three okay schools. One was really good. It's just that your parents didn't tell you that it was the only school with a cafeteria that could accommodate you. (laughs) 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 Your your son qualifies for as a disabled person because of his weight. (laughs) (laughs) Dude, honestly, I would have loved to get chosen to the school with the best cafeteria. (laughs) Yeah. Our cafeteria wasn't even that good. Mm. Anyway. Um, it was like a the school was fucking r- like a bad school. Like the one kid got stabbed for his Charizard when people were still doing like Pokemon cards and shit. Uh-huh. And one of the teachers was pregnant, and there was like two girls fighting, and she was like, "All right, stop!" And one girl like like got pushed into her stomach, and the teacher just cause she was pregnant. The teacher just knocked her out cold. Mm-hmm. <laughs> she just straight <laughs> uppercutted a sixth grader. Defense <laughs> mechanism. It was awesome. Can't dude. help it. Such a good story. The limbic system in action. Mm-hmm. The parasym- parasympathetic nerves. Oh yeah, I got a limb Innervate for the mm-hmm. systems. Oh yeah, That's something very. Look, limbic. you got there's a parasympathetic nervous system, and nobody knows what this thing does. You know, you put your hand on a stove, and next thing you know, me and Barack used to talk about it all the time. Remember <laughs> Pogs? You used to be able to collect them, but if you didn't have enough, they'd send you to jail. And I was one of the first guys that said that we should only be arresting the black kids. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Vice President Biden, do you have a? Do you have a? Uh, can you answer the question, please? Oh yeah, uh, it's uh, it's Monday. No, it's Thursday. But the, the that question, was not the question. The question was about the deficit. <laughs> I had a teacher in in like ninth grade, Spanish teacher, who was like the first semester. What you teach? Spanish. Oh, interesting. Oh no, no, she was she was a white woman, but she taught in Spanish. Oh, regular Peggy Hill. Yeah. Um. So the first semester we had like a Mexican guy from Mexico teach, and she went down to Mexico hey, and she do taught you know, there. Can someone reach the pencil sharpener <laughs> yeah. for me? He rocked, dude. <laughs> he was great. Hey, like, can one of you reach? Can one of you do the pencil sharpener for me, please? <laughs> He had no notion of like cheating. Like we like people were it was just a fucking free for all in his class. But then she came back the second semester, uh, pregnant. And oh, shit. there was one day where we were like really off topic and she, then she was like something happened, she started crying and she's like, I'm thirty two, I'm single and I'm pregnant and and I lost my it was my first time. <laughs> so excuse me, what? bitch. Yeah. So she said, <laughs> "Excuse me. Yeah, yeah. I have a question. <laughs> Is it your fault that the baby died?" <laughs> uh, no, Jonathan. It's not my fault. Uh, because I walked past the teachers' lounge and I heard uh, Mr. Miles say that it was your fault because He's, you're uh, you're a bitch and you were smoking because you smoked during the pregnancy <laughs> because you smoked cigarettes in the parking lot and you were fucking drunk. <laughs> <laughs> is that is that what happened? <laughs> Go to the office. Go to the John. office. <laughs> so wait, this, hold on a second. So basically, she went down to Mexico to teach, got knocked up by some Mexican guy. That I guess, like you know, and then she's like, "I'm gonna keep the kid." Yeah, because like, she's like, "I'm, I'm a- sorry, I came." <laughs> and he was like, "Speedy Gonzalez." Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, I came at you immediately. <laughs> Um, and yeah, she was Mormon, so she had never had sex. Oh my god, and then she like men, more like more women. Yeah, that's right. You can have multiple wives in that religion. Look, it's true. I went to Utah and I met some of these people, (laughs) and they told me that Mickey Mouse, his name used to be Jonathan. (laughs) They didn't even know he was a mouse, he's just supposed to be a you know, black fella with big ears. And that's you know it used to be black fellas they all had big ears back then that's why you could you could holler at them from across the street people don't do that anymore but they kept the screaming, and now uh, every time I go out I can't as I see a black guy I start yelling across the street like this, and it's you know so Russia is a similar thing, because you got guys over there cutting coupons. <laughs> it goes back to the. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And then the next year, I had this English teacher that Wait I... Wait a second. Okay. Was so this lady hot? She was not... She was okay. She was not that busted, Yeah, I would say. She but she wasn't ne- hot, no. She just never got her pussy filled before. She was a little bit overweight. 
Um, but she was she kind of had a um, pretty face. Is it face. possible that you're just fat and not pregnant? <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> Excuse me, ma'am? Derek. Ma'am! Go, just go to the office. Just Derek, she's crying. I'm not answering. Just go to the office. Derek, she's crying. She opened up to us. Can I have 50 cents for the vending machine on the way to the office? <laughs> no, Derek. Can I have 50 cents for the vending machine in the teacher's lounge? Derek, I keep lending you money. <laughs> can I have the key to the teacher's lounge so I can get a fucking Minute Maid? <laughs> the next, the next year, I I'm not trying to cuss. I just don't know. I'm mad. <laughs> <laughs> and if I had a minute made, maybe I'd fucking feel different, bitch. <laughs> He's six. <laughs> <laughs> He's in first grade. <laughs> They'd put my man straight up in special ed. <laughs> It's just a rude kid with a bunch of retarded kids. <laughs> For sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the behavior kids yeah. going to special ed. Which are the worst kids to be around retards? <laughs> the bad behavior kids? <laughs> really, yeah. It's literally the worst They're kind like of kids. They're like prison rapists. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're putting those retards in gen pop. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah you're, you're sending in monsters. That was, that was like <laughs> that, that plot line on, on Oz. Mm-hmm. When they fucking his retarded brother fucking uh, I don't remember I never I was like actor's name Ryan O'Neill his retarded brother Cyrus shows up in the prison hell yeah and he's like the Irish mobster and he's got a retarded brother that gets arrested for I don't know choking <laughs> and yeah he, and by, <laughs> for snapping uh, the owner of the farm's daughter's <laughs> neck <laughs> and, uh, so he's in jail and he's immediately just raped by Nazis. <laughs> And they do it to piss off his brother. They don't even want to rape him. They're just like, this will really fuck with Ryan. If we and rape. it probably would, honestly. Yeah. Damn. What? Did, how did he react? He shoves one of them down an elevator shaft, I think. The the, the brother or the, or the, the rapey or the... The Nazis. One of the Nazis he does. But does the, the retarded brother kill him? or? I can't remember, dude. That show is actually really not good. Oh, it's horrible. Yeah. Like I try, I was like, oh, I was like looking for a it's, show to binge. It's almost as dumb as this podcast, actually. Yeah, no, it's dumber because it you can tell they feel like they're saying something. Yeah, they're trying yeah. to be good, and it's like one of the stupidest things of all time. Yeah, when Beecher like beats that guy up with a dumbbell and shits on his face, <laughs> it's like, what are we doing here? <laughs> what is this? Yeah, we should do a prison show. That's how it really is, dude. Yeah. The real shit. Yeah. Making, can I go to the minute? Can I get a minute made from the machine? Making ramen and putting microwaving ramen in a Dorito, but putting Doritos. There was up a, in it. someone posted a pic on Twitter recently. A slim Jim of like a prison where it's like five PS fours, five flat screens. Everyone's gaming. They're like, damn, it looks fun in there. That looks awesome. Yeah. I would love to go to a prison where you just get your own PlayStation. Are you kidding? Well, me? once we get rid of private prisons, they're just going to be nice. Oh, once once the, once yeah. we go back to state state run prisons, well, all of the problems both, will be no. resolved. Yeah, <laughs> all of the problems in prison end with the end of of for profit prisons. What What do you mean? Are you doing a bit, or you mean that? No, I'm serious. There's still problems in public prisons. Like what? Like not uh, enough pussy. Dude. Yeah, not enough pussy. Underfunding. Um, probably it's probably crowded. You know, violence. Uh, none um, of those sound like problems. To sus, me. sus shit. <laughs> that sounds like shit. what you deserve. Sus shit. What they do you deserve sus shit. for being for smoking weed? <laughs> 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 yeah, there is too much sus shit. If you ask me, if I were president, no more sus shit. No in more jail. sus shit in jail. <laughs> Just gaming. Yeah, everyone gets a PlayStation. Everyone it's gets their own land. Party. Everyone gets their own Madden. Franchise mode file that you can never be saved over. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Dude, my cousin's staying with me right now, you and we got in an argument the other day because I beat Tony Hawk. I got like every, like everything that you needed to collect it to guess, happen. man. Absolutely not. To guess, nice brag. You're bro. not good at video games. <laughs> Listen, you to didn't get, do it. You're bad at video games. Okay, this was the PS One days. You're not good at video games. <laughs> Listen, to get. <laughs> To get Spider Man, because no. I guess Activision. No. You never got Spider Man. No. You never got Spider Man. <laughs> you cheated and used Game Shark. You used Game Shark. You had he... to use Game Shark. <laughs> I might have cheated a little bit, but. Yeah, yep. You cheated. Mm-hmm. But. Um, Big surprise. <laughs> so, but I just wanted to skate as Spider Man. You were bad as Spider Man. Yeah. You couldn't do any of his specials. Do the tricks. You couldn't do a single one of his specials. I had Spider Man for about two days. 
saved on my fucking memory card, and then he erased it. And I brought it up to him a couple days ago, and he's like, "I didn't fucking erase shit." Wow. And we like both got heated again. So this is like literally a beef that's like twenty years so old. So he did it because why would he be so mad if he did? He definitely did it. Because yeah. we got in like a physical fight about it, and our parents like had to <laughs> break it up. And I punched, I punched out his tooth. Nice. Because I used to be bigger than him. Lying. And I sat, I sat on his head, and I was never punching happened. his face. <laughs> You've never been good at punching. Never been Didn't good at video games. Never had Tony Hawk. Dude, this yeah, was a different. Different. This is what your brain came up with to replace the memory of you licking his dick like an ice cream cone. <laughs> And you're like, maybe that. No, it was Tony Hawk. <laughs> no, that's what we played Tony Hawk instead. No, and Nick, I won. That's not what happened. And I knocked him One giant lick. <laughs> uh, one, two, three. <laughs> Let's play Tootsie Roll. Your dad's like, God damn it, what does that mean? Is Adam being raped again? Every time we come over here for Yom Kippur, Adam gets raped. <laughs> I'm just storming out of the house. That's not what happened. Roller blades. <laughs> the first couple of steps, he just moves in place. Every Thanksgiving, every family function, all the mother boys rape Adam. I was the oldest cousin. No one was raping me. It's even on both sides. Dude, a bunch of little kids <laughs> holding you down <laughs> no. and putting their little dicks that in your is mouth. Funnier. <laughs> You're right. That is funnier. But that wasn't happening. I was stronger than everyone else. And that's how it happened. <laughs> Oh, uh, ma'am, isn't it true Adam got raped by his cousins? <laughs> that is true, Jonathan. Jonathan, Good you job. are right. Jonathan, that is the this no, is social studies, true. but that is the correct answer. <laughs> <laughs> That's not true, guys. <laughs> he did fucking erase my memory That's card. Fucking and I'm st- I'm fucking mad again. Just bring it Dude, up. Dude, that is bullshit. Yeah. He was being a fucking hater on that trip. Yeah. But I did punch out his tooth and get in trouble. Nope. I did. I mean, I can ask him. Let's pretend he did. You want me to call? No. I'll call him right now. He's at my house. I'll be like, did I punch out your tooth? Because we should make it easy again to erase someone's save file. It's not. I don't even know how you do it. How the fuck do you? It's pretty easy. No, like a a game I'm playing. How do I? I don't even know. You could do it. Why? Why should they make that easy? I don't know. To hurt people's feelings. (laughs) There are a lot of video game freakout vids of people erasing like their World of Warcraft accounts. They're like roommates or boyfriends' World of Warcraft accounts. There's one where it's like a girlfriend erasing her boyfriend's World of Warcraft account while he goes out to get cigarettes. And he just punches the computer. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Dude, he freaks out. Yeah, I mean, you're really... It's funny because it's like... <laughs> the, it's gay. Playing that yeah, game is gay. Yeah, 100%. Wasting your life with that game is gay. It's not something valuable like... Yeah, of course. Learning how to drift in a, in right. a Jetta with a $1,000. <laughs> 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 you know, it's very different. It's yeah, different yeah. and it's, it's pathetic, it's unlike a, it's, this. It's, this. These are real-world skills that will be valuable when we go to war and... I need mm-hmm. to drift. <laughs> That's right. When they need people to When drifting. it's one-to-one combat, single when, drift combat. Yes, when we decide that conventional warfare are no longer the answer, it's a battle of who can do drifting, mm-hmm. archery, mm-hmm. <laughs> Yes, and who is the best at Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2. That's right. And, and it won't be Adam. It won't That's be Adam. Sure. Adam's job will to be being molested by the enemy <laughs> troops to distract them. <laughs> Will I get my drift tune <laughs> correct? <laughs> Anything to help out the war cause. Shut up. <laughs> Anything for the, uh, for Uncle Sam. Anything you say for my country. Yes, sir, to me. Someone who <laughs> no, I don't outrank you per se no. because I'm a hired mercenary, a paramilitary. <laughs> yeah, mercenary. you're outside the system. I'm from outside, Zimbabwe. I've already, they, I, they ran out of ranks to promote me to, so I had to quit and join a contractor, mm-hmm. so I could have special titles like double sergeant. <laughs> <laughs> Black. And those pictures of those Blackwater guys are always so funny. Mm-hmm. They love being the troops. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they just can't quit. <coughs> Damn, I think I got my cousin's cold. And don't say that it was from Kiss. <laughs> yeah. Don't say. It was. Uh, ma'am, was it from Kissing? No, it was. Yes, Shut it up, was, dude. Jonathan. I okay, it. you're in a roll, pal. Why is Jonathan? Who's Jonathan? <laughs> I missed he's that. He's a bad kid. Oh, the bad. I thought, no, that's How Derek. How did you miss it? <laughs> Derek was the bad Whatever, kid. Change it to Jonathan. Okay. Come well, on, I man. was listening. This context. We've please. talked about two things this podcast. Joe Biden. I thought this was a pretty solid one. Joe Biden and Jonathan the bad kid. Bo Jiden. Bo Jiden. How about that? <sighs> I like that, man. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. 
I'm freaking horny, mate. <laughs> I'm freaking horny. I want pussy. Oh, man. I'm dizzy. I'm really dizzy. Dizzy Gillespie. <coughs> Who's dizzy? Who was Dizzy Gillespie? Really? The jazz man. But I, but I, but I, but you I, probably I, but like I, but Dizzy Gillespie stuff. But I, but I, but I, but Stav I, but is a I, but bebop I, guy. He's a purist. Is he? I don't know. I'm just trying to remember what about that Dizzy? Ken Burns What about Dizzy Molesty? That's good. He he, he makes girls... Uh, he makes them faint from his jazz music, and then he molests them. Was he getting... Jizzy. Was Dizzy getting pussy? I'm sure all those yeah. motherfuckers were. And they were doing heroin, too. Everybody right? who's even remotely famous has the option to just get as much pussy as they want. It's true. It's crazy yeah. how that works. Even from a podcast. <laughs> I no, I mean yes. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> it's, it's ridiculous. It, it's like you think about like I mean I tried to do a bit about it but becoming even remotely notable and then you just get hit up by people that are like women that are clearly in relationships <laughs> that are currently doing better. <laughs> They're like, yeah. my boyfriend doesn't have to find He's out. got a six pack. <laughs> yeah, right. And then it's like, you think back to like all elder relationships you've been in where your girlfriend was like, I met the OxyClean guy. <laughs> it's like she wanted to suck And you're it. like, oh, weird. Yeah. <laughs> so what, what happened? You like met him at the mall and then That's crazy, you went to lunch babe. for three hours or what? <laughs> <laughs> like where you were you? To why is text? your pussy so clean right yeah. now? <laughs> why is your pussy <laughs> just spotless? <laughs> no, that's it. That would have been the punchline if I had ever finished the joke. Now good. it's gone. Now it's now it's stuck. No, Thanks a lot. Good. It's stuck. It, no, it's good. stuck. Come on. Come on. No, that makes the joke. Mm-hmm. I can't fucking go do that now. Yeah, you can. Dude. I was this close to almost getting back into stand up. <laughs> no, 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 come get on, back Nick. In, man. No. Come on, bro. No, uh, yeah, that's how you would do that. <laughs> and why is your pussy so clean? <laughs> that's good. Nah, dude, you got Billy. You got you got it, dude. No, no, th- nothing's gonna top that. <laughs> no, it was good stuff. I gotta give it to you, Adam. Shut the fuck up. But <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> okay, Jonathan. All right. Stop telling the retarded kid to shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Just being written up. He told the mentally disabled student to <laughs> shut the fuck up. <laughs> for trying to spell his name out loud. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking idiot. Oh, uh, fuck. What? He's an idiot. He's That's what the term stupid. used to be. I read it in the fucking encyclopedia. Okay, well, why don't you read other things in the encyclopedia? Why don't you suck my dick like you never did to your husband so he left? <laughs> <laughs> okay, just go back. Can that. I watch Pokemon? <laughs> Can we turn the TV on? Can we Pokemon turn Peppa on? Pig on. <laughs> this is the fucking five year old that loves Peppa Pig. He's still five. Asking you about your. I'm abortion. trying to watch Bob the Builder. <laughs> <laughs> um, can we put the TV on? <laughs> but it's fucking raining, so it means we can't have recess later. <laughs> so we should be able to watch videos in class. You fucking bitch. Oh uh, fuck. <laughs> No, we can't watch Peppa Pig. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we have Funny Moms tomorrow. Yes, we got to book that, huh? We got did you book give it? that bitch that shirt? I did. Okay, yeah. good. Yeah. We got Funny um, Moms. We got Fat Tuesdays every Tuesday at the stand, 730. And then, big news, they're going to move us to the downstairs room starting November 12th. So wow, congrats. We're going to be doing a bit. Yeah, so please come out and see us. Hopefully, we can, we can do it up, but... Uh, yeah, come see me. Oh, I guess this just happened. I'm in Detroit today, if you're listening. And then I'm at the Stress Factory uh, here in New Brunswick on November 6th. I'm in Lafayette, Louisiana, New Orleans, the 8th and the 9th. Mm. And then Atlanta, the 23rd, Nashville, the 24th, Baltimore, Thanksgiving weekend. <coughs> come suck our little hard cocks at, at Funny Moms. Come see us at... Come see us at Fat Tuesdays. Later. Thanks a lot. <laughs>